special show inside the Christ Church here in Jerusalem, and we are very pleased to be joined by Reverend Aaron Imey of Christ Church. Hello, and happy holidays to you. Thank you very much. So first, let's uh, talk about Easter and you know what, what you guys are preparing for this very holy day. Excellent. Well, Easter is a, um, an eight-day festival for us, and it's a, a memorial walk as disciples of Jesus. We're journeying with him in his last week, uh, and each day we have various prayers, various uh, readings from the scriptures, and then, of course, we celebrate Pesach, because at the, co at the core of, of Easter is the festival of Pesach, a festival of rede redemption, deliverance, uh, hope, uh, family, and a lot of that uh, is reflected in, uh, in, in Easter. And eventually, we celebrate new life and resurrection. It's a great holiday. It is a great holiday. And uh, explain a little bit about the connections, I think, uh, you know, between Passover and Easter. Explain this better for people that don't understand, because it's interesting. You said only two languages use the word Easter, and the rest is... Pascha, which Correct. is connected to Pesach. Yeah, a lot of people might not know, but Easter is only known as Easter in two languages, which is uh, English and German. Uh, all other languages actually use the source, the original source, Pesach or Pascha, even Latin still mm. calls Easter Pascha. And that reflects that uh, actually, this is actually a Jewish story, it's a Jewish holiday, and um, at its source, at Pesach, when the children of Israel left Egypt, Egyptians came too. This is actually a Jewish Gentile redemption story. Mm. And as Gentiles, I think if we go back to the source, it'll give us lots of fresh meaning right, and right. understanding. Now explain the link. So now here the, the, you know, the Church of Christ is an Anglican church, also Protestant. It was, I know, started by Henry VIII and his divorce and the whole thing. But please explain kind of the basic tenets of how the, you know, the Christ Church and Judaism are intricate, intricately connected and why this is a very important point to explain to people that are, are watching. They are intricately united. Uh, in the Protestant tradition, um, we have a tendency, and this is a generalization, but a tendency to read the Bible literally, both Hebrew Bible, Old Testament, and Greek Bible, New Testament. Uh, other traditions may take some of the readings more allegorically, but the way you read the Bible changes your behavior. Mm -hmm. Protestants gained access to the Bible thanks to the printing press. And as they read the Bible, they discovered, oh my gosh, uh, Messiah doesn't come back to London or to Paris, <laughs> as nice as the cities might be. Uh, he comes back to Jerusalem. And Jerusalem has a special place uh, in, the, in, the, in the Lord's eye, in his heart, and in the future. And so in, according to the Protestant tradition, they take that very seriously and have a tendency to be more pro-Israel and pro-Zionist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, explain why this is so important from the perspective of why, how Israel is part and parcel with, you know, the whole Messiah concept. Why, you know, Israel and the Jewish people need to be recognized as part of the redemption for the Christian people. Oh, man. I am. I'm amen. So, Messiah is, of course, a Jewish concept. Uh, Gentiles, uh, in the past, we were off worshipping the sun, the moon, and the stars. But all of a sudden, we realize that actually, we're allowed to believe in, in God, and we can actually have the hope of a Messiah without having to become Jewish people. So we get to join the family and believe in the Messiah, believe in hope, believe in the redemption, and we get to read the prophets and all the great things that they say and their challenges of us and our behavior. And, uh, and then in, in, in and that way, we actually journey with Jewish people. And so our calendars sometimes often overlap, and this year they do. Mm -hmm. Easter coincides very closely with Pesach, and so we get to, to look at uh, the source of those stories together. Thank you so much.